right, everyone. Excited to have Esteban Valdez here. And uh, their preferred pronoun is they and them, correct? Yes. Awesome. So uh, they they are a Me Mexican-American, queer, spiritual, compassionate person. He's been They've been all around the uh, stage across the world doing dance, music, theater, magic. And after nine years of practice, 400 hours of yoga, anatomy, philosophy study, uh, they became a donor trained birth and postpartum doula, childbirth educator, and Reiki master. And uh, Reiki master, excuse me. And and they want to share a brilliant moment of connection with you. And we're going to go deep into a little global hope meditation, which I'm really excited about here. So I'll let you go from here. And we really appreciate you coming on to the summit. Thank you so, so much, Tim. Welcome everyone. I am Esteban Valdez. I'm tuning in here from the land of my ancestors. I'm in Mexico City in La Ciudad de Mexico. Buenas tardes. Um, and I'd like to just welcome this in first. I have sage here burning. You know, it's, it's a practice here and I'm calling in my ancestors, specifically my grandparents who are not on this plane with us. My grandparents, Nicandro Benavides, my grandmother, Guadalupe Benavides de Rodriguez. May they continue to guide and protect me and to keep us here connected to our highest path. And for all of my ancestors here from La Ciudad de Mexico on both ends of, of what makes up me as a first generation Mexican American to, to honor where I come from both via my indigenous ancestors and also those that influence so much of the, the culture of my country, those that colonized the ancestors about 500 years ago. And so part of my hope for today and part of my journey in decolonizing myself and awakening the parts of myself that need healing, it requires doing that self-work. It requires taking a deep dive and a truthful look at how we got to this place. And so I, I, I offer this energy in deep respect, in deep love for expansion and healing. So find yourself a comfortable seat um, and know that for this meditation, um, you can move yourself around. Energy manifests itself in different ways. So feel that you don't need to be rigid or you're not doing it right if you're, if you're moving around and fidgeting. So do allow yourself to listen to your body and put yourself in a state of ease. For what I do know when we align ourselves to offer something outside of ourselves, to connect to that great expanse, that plane that we all are connected on, um, it comes from a sense of ease. So find at least a tall seat. You can have a back to your chair. Um, some folks might enjoy reclining, lying down, and that's perfectly okay as well. Something that allows you to feel grounded and comfortable. And together, let's take a generous breath in through your nose. Fill yourself up. And open your mouth, empty your lungs. <sighs> Let's do that again. Big, generous breath in, filling yourself up in 360 degrees. And exhale. <sighs> one more just like that. Big breath in. Taking one more sip at the top. And let it all empty out. I invite you to place one hand on your heart and the other hand on your belly. And if it feels safe, close your eyes. If it doesn't feel safe, you can simply turn your gaze downward and just allow your eyelids to be soft. And just start to tune into the cadence of your breath, how you show up right now in this moment. Is the breath smooth and deep? perhaps choppy or erratic, without the need to change the breath or to judge or to label, but just to simply see how you show up and what the truth of the moment for you is offering. And with that inventory of the breath, take a deep inhalation. And out of your mouth. Before 
we can allow ourselves the space to expand metta. In my practice, it is the practice of loving kindness. We must first tap into what we need and what is here for us. So start by scanning your body superficially from the temperature of the room that you're in or outside to the touch of the fabric on your skin, of your wardrobe, the things that you're wearing. Whether you're lying down or sitting down, what does that seat or that support feel like on the skin? Take a deep breath there. And release. And trusting that those sensations are there, the sounds, the smells of your room. And start to look underneath the skin. What are you feeling in your body? Perhaps tension in certain areas, like your neck or your joints. Do you feel the pulse of your circulatory system throughout the body? Do you feel light or heavy? Again, maintaining awareness filters that are compassionate, kind, and patient for whatever shows up. What about pain in the body? Does it radiate? Is it sharp or dull? And are there correlating emotions? Do we have feelings about ourselves when we feel these sensations in the body, perhaps the ones that are most uncomfortable? And start to tune in there. The quality of thought in your mind. You know, it's perfectly normal to get distracted in a meditation. And the practice asks us to just notice that moment when you veer off. It's totally okay. And you can bring yourself back by taking a breath and sitting back into this moment of focus. Our thoughts like to run in different locations. They sometimes have a circular nature to them. You start with one idea, your brain starts to run away and random things start to pop up. And you might come back to the same memory, the same idea, the same belief. And that truly is the nature of the mind to expansively ponder all the things. In the Yoga Sutra, Patanjali in his translation calls it the sufferings that we live underneath, these chitta vrittis in Sanskrit. And practices like meditation, practices like breath work and yoga are wonderful ways to allow us to observe those little paradigms that create suffering. This idea that I'm in pain. You know where your focus goes, your energy flows. And through this practice, we aim to look beyond the superficial. We look beyond the limits, the physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain. And we get to connect to that thread that we are all participating in that spiritual realm. Take a deep breath in and hollow out the lungs. And borrowed from my practice of Reiki and metta combined, we'll start to connect to the vibration of the earth. Observe just with your mind's eye, the tip of your tailbone, your coccyx. And in this area, we hold a little sphere of energy. Notice the sphere's size, how large or how small it is. Some folks might identify a red or darkish purple color. Notice if any colors come up for you. And how bright or how dim this color of the sphere might be. And like the earth on its axis, this sphere spins. Notice the speed, quick, slow, random speeds, it might be erratic. 
and it might be on multiple axi. It might spin in one direction and change into the other direction with speed. And it is this place in the chakra system, our root center and our root chakra that we truly connect to our home, this earth. And from the center of the sphere, begin to imagine a series of roots digging through your seat, whatever you're sitting on, down through the foundation of the building that you're in, and continuing to stretch downward through layers of crust on the Earth's surface, all the way down into the Earth's magmic core. And imagine the system of roots wrapping around the cord like a net. Take a deep breath in. Empty your lungs. So we have this connection to Mama Earth, Pachamama. And your system of roots can have a white color. It can be the same color of your sphere. And just start to observe this radiates. This might be a pulse. This might have a physical sensation. And this serves as a conduit of energy. First, for us to release anything that we're ready to give over. Old paradigms of living old belief systems, resent, resistance to forgiveness, all of the things about ourselves that might not be the most fun to realize as we all have our own shadows that we must deal with, that we must heal through. So whatever pain, whatever limit, whatever block in this moment that you feel ready to surrender, you can imagine yourself flushing it down through your sphere, through your system of roots, that root system that wraps around the earth's magnet core. And you can surrender it to Pachamama. She will take it from you. You won't need to worry about it anymore. She will neutralize those low vibrations for you. It's no longer yours. And so we have a few moments here to sit with this flushing to clear our own space before we can expand vibrations of light, of hope, of peace, of love. For it is looking at our shadows with truth that we are able to transmute, to surrender, to heal. We must align ourselves to lighten the load of this heaviness, to release the dead weight so that we can operate at a higher vibration, vibrations of love, of patience, peace, and ultimately humility. Just a few cycles of breath here. And it's okay if your mind wanders. The moment that you become aware that you've disconnected from your roots, you take a breath and come right back. And that's really the practice of meditation. Notice you get distracted a million times, but you come back a million and one times. And allow your breath to move naturally. It's perfectly normal to feel a yawn or the breath to get choppy. Those are just signs that energy is moving and that's what we want. We want these old paradigms, these belief systems in the brain to start to shift. And when we can open ourselves up outside of these mind sufferings, these chitta vrittis, we open up our hearts 
for when we get triggered emotionally, it's because something is going against our belief system, our mind paradigms. And when our emotions get invested in fear, in anger, in sadness, in grief, we know that emotions scientifically are a physical experience. Our brains release a cocktail of hormones and chemicals that can elicit tension responses, stress responses, those fight, flight, or freeze responses. Our mind, our emotions are so divinely connected to the body. And so we observe those places, maybe that pain in your shoulder might be connected to the grief that you're holding about a loved one or a situation in your life. You know, it takes a lot of work to be real with our things as they come up. And sometimes we have more work to do. So let your intuition guide you to those areas that you truly are ready to give away, to be finished with, to grow from, and send that down through your cord. Take three cleansing breaths in through the nose and out of your mouth, flush. Two. One. And so trust that your intuitive intelligence will continue shedding and releasing and flushing. But if you feel ready to allow ourselves to come into metta, the practice of loving kindness, I offer a mantra. It has three parts. And we'll take the first few rounds just to apply for ourselves. And you can continue with this energy cord flushing. Take a deep breath in, may I be kind. And release. Inhale, may I be patient. Breathe in, may I be loving. This is the practice of metta, breathing in to kindness. Filling yourself up with patience. Radiating the vibration of love. And as we continue for the next few minutes, you know, perhaps your work today is simply finding these vibrations for yourself. May I be patient. May I be kind. May I be loving. But perhaps there is a person or persons in your life that might need some of this vibration. You can connect with them staying connected to this cord and you can start to expand that earthly vibration in kindness and patience and love perhaps it's a situation that's going on in the world an area on the planet wherever your intuition guides radiating outward patience kindness, love. Three intimate, high vibrations that align not just us, but those around us to build hope.
Notice the shoulders, keep them dropping down. The back of the neck continues to lengthen. The tongue releases from the roof of the mouth. And as you continue to tap into your patience, your kindness, your love, imagine your entire physical being and your system of cords of roots on top of this earth as one giant set of lungs. You and Papa Pachamama, the earth, breathing in kindness together. And send it outward, radiate. You and the earth as one big lung, filling up with patience. Together, breathing into love. And release. It's this powerful privilege that we have to get to connect virtually from different parts of the world. Together we have our, our own root systems connected to this earth, our home. And like antenna, like towers throughout the planet, we breathe as one giant set of lungs, breathing in patience. Filling ourselves and connecting to each other with kindness. Expanding our compassion through love. Let's take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, exhale. And so trusting that your roots are still connected Begin to visualize the planet in harmony. It starts first with the way that we treat ourselves. To hold space for those in our community and not just those that are nearest and dearest to our hearts and our own personal lives, but with each divine human being that walks this planet that crosses our path We can radiate patience, kindness, compassionate love, and that creates a ripple. When we can treat our fellow man with those same three pillars, we can then create unity and equity. Through these practices, our paradigms under which we live as a global society will shift. We treat this earth with respect, patiently, lovingly, with kindness. And that creates a ripple. We treat all beings on this planet, whether flora or fauna, with that same sacred patience, kindness, and love. And that creates another ripple. For all energy, all beings, all things under this singular paradigm, our sacred home, this planet, we build harmony. We build peace. The root of expanding hope comes from our capacity 
to not just love ourselves, but to truly honor the sacredness of all life. Deepest breath in, hollow out your lungs. So what is that planet that you visualize, that earth that we hope to create together? And start to see yourself participating. How do you hold yourself in that world, in that paradigm? How would you live your day-to-day -day life? How would you nurture your most dear relationships? How do you show up for your job and your business? How do you work with people and minds and hearts from different backgrounds and different beliefs together to create equitable solutions, to utilize the privileges that we do have to create that equal, loving, patient, expansive, compassionate earth. What would your expression of joy be knowing that we all had this level ground, that we all participated in the unity of compassion. What would that give you the freedom to do? So for the last few moments of this expansion into hope, start to hold on to that version of the planet that we're collectively creating and know that it's here and now that we're currently as a planet as a humanity just dusting away the layers that have perhaps clouded or dirtied up what we already do inherently it's our birthright our inherent nature to be this way and so we can ask the core of the earth to nourish us with that vibration. And so for the last few breaths, imagine you pulling up that version of the planet, that version of hope, peace, and equity through your systems of roots, through the foundation of your building, through your meditation seats into the sphere that sits at the bottom of your tailbone. And from the sphere, allow it to enter your entire physical being. Fill yourself up with this vibration of hope for our planet, our sacred home. and trusting that we always have this connection to the earth and to each other. Let's take a juicy, generous breath in and send it out. One more, just like that. Fill yourself up from the core and radiate it outwardly. Gently release your hands from your body and slowly at your own ready, blink the eyes open and see this world, this paradigm that we've created together. For my own bowing out, I take my thumbs in the prayer position at my third eye the space between your eyebrows. And I bow to each and every one of you and your inner wisdom as all of my teachers, 
Thank you so much in sharing this time and this space to collectively elevate our vibrations of hope, of patience, of compassion, and love. Namaste. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. My pleasure, folks. Thank you all for participating today. Just want to let anyone know where they can find out more about you. And yes, and you can find me world. on Instagram. My handle is at namaste, N A M A S T E dot este, E S T E. Awesome. I appreciate you. And we'll close out this session there and I'll see everybody in just a few minutes.